In this clip, I'm going to show you how to establish communications between your computer and an OCS using a USB to serial adapter. These provide very reliable communications and are compatible with just about all OCS models from the entry level on up. Not all USB to serial adapters are created equal. I highly recommend you use the one we provide. It is of a highly stable design and its drivers are well established across multiple Windows operating systems. Here I'm showing you the HE-XCK, which is the Horner OCS connection kit. Let's take a look inside the bag and see what we've got. Inside the bag, it looks like I have a total of about three items. In the middle is the USB to serial adapter itself. And at the top is the serial cable that converts the output from the adapter over to the pinout used on most OCS products. The third item is a USB cable that we can set aside for now. Let's focus on the first two items. We're going to want to connect the nine pin side of both the adapter and the serial cable to each other. So it's just a matter of aligning and then making the connection. So what we're left with is a single cable that has a USB connector end that we plug into our computer and an RS-232 end in the form of an RJ45 connector that we plug into the OCS. It is important to note that this is not an Ethernet signal that runs through this cable, but an RS-232 signal. Therefore, it plugs into the MJ1 serial port on your OCS and not the Ethernet LAN port. Now let's prepare to plug the USB end of our cable into the computer. We should expect that if our computer is connected to the internet, it should have no problem in finding the Windows drivers for this device. Let's see what happens. Sure enough, after only a few seconds, Windows tells me that it is installing the device driver. That's one of the advantages of our USB to serial adapter. Its drivers are very common and easy to find. After only a few seconds, it lets us know that the device is ready to use. Now let's take a look at the device manager in Windows so we can see which COM port has been assigned to our adapter. There are a lot of ways to get to the device manager in Windows. This is the way I like to do it. Once we're inside the device manager, I'll clean up my view a little bit here and then take a look at the ports section. There it is, USB serial port, COM14. That's the COM port that's been assigned to our adapter. You can see it's got the FTDI chip in it and the device is working properly. Okay, let's close down the device manager and prepare to open Seascape. Let's go ahead and double click on the icon here at the desktop. Seascape is launching, showing us its version number. The first thing that will appear is the connection wizard. Now we can select either USB or serial. It doesn't matter with this device. I'll select USB, hit next, and there it is. USB serial port COM14. And it's the only device on the list. I'll hit finish, and we should be communicating. In the status bar in the lower right hand corner, you can see Local 253, Target 253, R. That means we're connected to an OCS with a CAN ID of 253 and it's in run mode. That concludes our clip as we've established communications between our computer and the OCS using the USB to serial adapter.